Hey, what's going on guys? It's Boss. So I'm back to do the same tutorial that I've done with the USB and the transfer cable. Uh, for one main reason being that most people are having difficulties with the USB tutorial uh, because they didn't know how to use USB Explorer efficiently. And uh, I can agree with that. Uh, USB Explorer is not really uh, user friendly. It's kind of complicated. So um, a subscriber mentioned that I should do a tutorial on, with Modio, and I hadn't thought of that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, Modio is a lot easier to use, and uh, it's more user-friendly. So this is with uh, USB, by the way. Uh, I, haven't, I didn't see a lot of problems with uh, the transfer cable tutorial. It's just a lot of people with the USB tutorial uh, found it really hard. Um, okay. So first thing you want to do is plug in the USB into the Xbox and uh, we're going to go over here to system settings and uh, I've already have mine configured and uh, see it's everything's empty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign out of here and I'm going to create a profile and you can just call this anything and uh, you're going to want to save it to a uh, memory unit. Uh, call us anything you will not be using this profile it is just as kind of a reference to know that you are you'll see that later on this will serve kind of as a reassurance that you're putting the modded profile in the right place so I'm just gonna save this as player one just to make things quicker and I saved it to the memory unit all right so now that I have uh, that profile saved onto the uh, memory unit, which is the USB, so right here, Gamer Profiles, there's my, uh, there's my profile. I'm going to go over to the hard drive where I have my Black Ops stuff saved, and I'm going to go to um, Games, Black Ops, and I'm going to delete the uh, title update. So you see that here, it says title update number 11. Um, this is the latest update. You could have something different. Um, by the time you're watching this video, it could be 12, depending if uh, Treyarch releases another patch. But as of now, it's 11. doesn't matter what the number is, just as long as it's the Black Ops title update. So you're going to, head, you're going to go ahead and delete that. And uh, you will be able to download this again after uh, you connect to Xbox Live on your regular account. You can uh, re-download that update. Uh, another question I had w a lot was, can you do this on PS3? I don't know. I don't think so. You can try it. Um, might take a little bit of work, and you're, you're going to be on your own. I'll provide you with the uh, modded files. Whether or not you can get this to work on PS3, I'm not sure. Um, but go ahead and try. It never hurts to try anything. So uh, enough. You can't mess up your mess up your Xbox or your account because you're not touching your Xbox Live account by doing this you're just creating another profile which is an offline account and um, yeah and don't do this online with a regular account I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show you in any way how to do this with an online account so unless you do this yourself with an online account um, you're gonna get banned but I'm not gonna teach you in any way here on how to do this online so you know that if you follow this tutorial you're not gonna get banned for doing mods uh, for black ops so follow my tutorial and you won't get banned at all not even a risk all right so now that we have that done uh, we're gonna go over uh, to the computer and I'll show you what to do there with Mario all right now that we're on the computer um, we're gonna unplug our USB from the Xbox and we're gonna plug it into the computer all right so I'm just gonna close that um, so now we're going to go and launch our browser, and we're going to do a search for Modio. I'll have a link to this in the description so that you don't have to do this. Click on Download Modio. Then scroll down here, and we're going to click Slow Download. And it says I have to wait three minutes. And once those three minutes are done, uh, you'll get a, a CAPTCHA. CAPTCHA is one of those uh, things where you have to type in the letters. Uh, once you do that, you'll get a download button. You can go ahead and click it, and uh, the download will start. 
Um, I've already downloaded this to save time, so I don't have to wait three minutes. So I'm just going to close out of this. And uh, you're also going to want to download the uh, modded profile, which is in the description as well. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go into my download folder. And here are the two things you should have, Modio uh, 3.0 and Profile A. I'm going to go ahead and open Modio. By the way, this is uh, WinRAR. I'll include a link to it as well. WinRAR allows you to open up zip files, RAR files, a whole bunch of compressed uh, files. Uh, a lot of people had difficulties opening up uh, the USB Explorer, I believe for this reason, that they didn't know they needed uh, WinRAR. So I'll have a dis uh, link in that in the description. What's this? So, Mario. Alright, so here's Mario. I'm also going to open up Profile A. And I'm just going to leave that to the side. Um, something you might want to do, uh, some people are having trouble with this as well. Um, go to Control Panel. And you're going to go to User Accounts. Um, you're going to go to Change User Account Control Settings. Most people will have their set to here. Um, this, having it set to here, um, will ask you every time, your computer will ask you every time you want to make changes. So you know that screen you get uh, asking you to confirm whenever you want to install something. If you, down, if you go all the way down here, you won't get that. And it makes uh, so that um, all, you have all rights to whatever you're doing. You don't... Modding is a lot easier when you have it set to all the way at the bottom. So if you're, if Modio isn't recognizing your USB stick for some reason, try that. Restart your computer and uh, open up Modio again and try. It should work. So we're going to go to Explore a Device. The file, open and close device. And um, so we're going to expand content. And uh, remember that player one... Uh, profile I told you to make or whatever you named it here it is so we know we're in the right spot um, there's our player one we're gonna go over here and our first click on content here Mario and um, you see how our player one has an, this ID the E000 etc here's a, another profile with E00 etc we're gonna drag that over with our player one click on content there and you can see now we have two profiles we have the profile we created at the beginning and this new one called A and that's it that's all we have to do the only thing we have left is to expand A so you can click on that plus sign plus sign and profiles and we're gonna go now you gotta decide if you wanna play 5 or Kino Personally, I'm going to do Kino because it's a lot easier to, um, well, it's not really easier. It's nothing at all. So I'm just going to go ahead and again go into Kino, Profile, and you have this file right here. If you want to play Kino, you grab it, drag it over here, and you, if, when it asks you if you want to overwrite, click Yes. If you want to play 5, double click on 5, Profile, you drag that over. Overwrite, yes. Again, I said I wanted to do Kino, so I'm just going to do Kino. All right, and that's it. You're done. That's everything. The mod is ready to go. So I'm going to file, close, unplug your USB from the computer, and uh, plug it into the Xbox. All right, now that we're back on the Xbox, um, we're pretty much ready to go. Um, we're going to sign in. And you see you have this new profile on your memory unit called A. This is the modded profile that we just added. Remember that we saw this in uh, Modio. Go ahead and sign into that. 
and uh, launch Black Ops. want to select your memory unit turn on my brightness a bit continue I'm not going to worry about adjusting my screen settings you want to turn on graphic content yes and uh, zombies solo all right so I dragged over Kino and it's Mario so I'm gonna go to Kino so dragged over five go to five Okay. So as soon as you spawn in, you want to press up on the D-pad. That's going to make your crosshairs small, and God mode will be on, as you can see in the top left corner. Um, so from here, you've got God mode on, which means that you can't be killed. You want to shoot a bullet, and uh, there you go. You have infinite ammo, as you can see. Um, I'll walk you through some of the things you can do here. So as soon as you spawn in, I'll also have a button map in the description which will tell you what each button does because you can actually change what each button does by pressing up on the d-pad so for example I'm gonna press up right now okay so now my buttons have completely changed I'm gonna press up again now the buttons are different again and once again now I'm back to my original uh, button map and uh, so what these button maps will do for example right now I am pressing the LB button right there as you can see I can fly around this is no clip I can fly through walls and uh, can even go over here whoops and uh, turn on the power so that's no clip now if I press up on the d-pad again you'll see that or not some yeah if I pu press up on the d-pad and press the same button that I used to fly around which is uh, RB I can throw grenades now and if I press up again on the d-pad same button We'll turn God mode on and off. And uh, pressing the other buttons will also do other things like speed the game up or slow the game down. It's pretty cool. Um, what else can you do here? You can uh, switch between weapons. So with the left D pad. So I've got the Zeus cannon here. Let's speed things up. Back to normal. Um, I have the. Uh, Ballistic knife, don't shoot off too many of these. It will crash the game if you do. And here's my crossbow. So yeah, um, a lot of cool things you can do with these mods. They're a lot of fun. So definitely try this out. Again, there's going to be everything you need in the description that I've talked about. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, big thing too. Once you die... Let's say you turned off God Mode. Uh, where is God Mode? Right there. God Mode off. Let's say you die. You will have to remod the game if you want to have the mods again. Now you will spawn in again, which I will show you right now. You will spawn in. But pressing up on the D-pad will not give your, uh, your your small crosshairs you, uh, you'll be able to turn god mode on and off fly around but you will be limited to some things for example you will not have uh, when you spawn when the, you initially spawn like the first time I showed you this you have all the perks you have fast running you hear you don't your, your crosshairs aren't small and that's a lot of people ask why is it that my uh, mods aren't working well, that's because every time you die you have to remod it's, I know it sucks, but I mean, it's a small price to pay for these mods. are pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's that. And uh, yeah, thanks for checking this out. It's tutorial. See you later.